You've probably heard the saying, as American as apple pie. It also makes for a perfect dessert for your backyard barbecues today. And this time, we are throwing it on the grill, not in the oven. Absolutely. Handy Andy is back to show us how to do it. I had no idea that you were such a good cook, but oh, I'm excited to learn. I love to, learn. to cook. I love to cook, and my wife loves it when I cook. I'm sure um, she does. You know, I would if love I was home more, she, I would even cook more. But I like to cook on the grill, so yeah. I like to do everything on it. And there's nothing you can't do on your grill. It's just like another oven. So yeah. whether you're cooking turkeys or making apple pies or pizzas or whatever it is you want to do, you, you can, can do, do it, it on the grill. Just watch the temperature, the thermometer, and make sure your grill is in good working order. So if you haven't used it yet, make sure it's clean. you got all the spider webs out Enough and everything propane. else. Not yeah. propane in the whole bit. You know, it's simple to do, and it's and it's fun to do. It's fun to be outside in this gorgeous weather. But I to, love that you made your own pie crust. Oh, silly! <laughs> Who would buy a store-bought crust? That doesn't taste good. This girl would. But, but you start. My favorite apple. <laughs> Marie would. Too, too my silly. favorite apple to cook with is Macintosh. Okay. A Macintosh apple is a lot juicier type of apple. Mm -hmm. So, and my wife says I'm still experimenting with apple pies. So she says just keep making them every week, and I'll tell you when they get perfect. And now that's been 30 some years ago. Uh, so but she still with eats it, them, right? Every day. But the, the dough is simple. It's just flour, it's Crisco, and it's water. And I put stuff in between the layers of apples, and this okay. is just nutmeg, cinnamon, lemon juice, and sugar. And so, I told you, I don't know very many people that still cook with Crisco. You and my mother in law. Oh, uh, I love her. Tell her to give me a call. We'll cook together. Her food is delicious. Yeah, but, so I understand why she does it, but I but, can't. In between segments, I okay. went and uh, made the bottom crust itself, and same thing, just with the flour, the Crisco, okay. and you got to knead it with your hands. You got to get dirty there with it, okay. and roll it out. We put a layer of apples in there, and then Dump we the put cinnamon the, sugar. the cinnamon sugar, and then we put our second layer in wow. there. Wow of apples in there. And, we'll and you don't have to do anything to the apples beforehand. They will cook thoroughly. They and cook thoroughly, but that's soften. one of the, some apples don't cook thoroughly, but others do. So and that's why trying the different Fiji apples and, you know, yeah. the granny apples and so forth. You know, really, I found that the Macintosh apple is the best apple for me to make a oh, pie and with. there you go. And then put I it, take just put it in four the butter. cubes of butter. Everything tastes better with butter. That's true. Um, yeah, exactly. So we'll do that. and then You can we, add more butter if you want. No, it's perfect this way. <laughs> <laughs> and then we just have our top. And we'll peel the top back off of the pad. What a professional. Look at you go. And we just roll it back over top of it. Okay. And... You're welcome to help if you want. What's the milk for? I'm going to show you. Be patient. Be patient. Well, I just want to make sure you didn't forget something. Maybe you were supposed I... to go. <laughs> and then we're going to just, you know, pin over if there's a little bit too much. Just peel it off and throw it at your kids or your husband. Okay. They'll eat anything. <laughs> or the show host that keeps asking you questions while you're trying to cook. <laughs> okay. And that's, you know, putting the top hat on it. Now, do you use a specific pan? I see you're using glass. Is that the best way to go for uh, this or do you? Any, yeah, I, I don't cook in metal ones. Uh, it's just me. I'll cook in the glass or any of the uh, corral ware or any of the corning ware. Okay. Now here's the milk. Okay. okay. The milk, I just dab it on the top surfaces, but I don't put it on the ends because the milk will burn. But if you want your pie to have that little tone, that brown, but mm -hmm. not burnt, that's what the milk will do. The oh, milk great. is going to give it that little extra glowingness to it. And then this is what I use to cover the end so the crust doesn't burn. Some people just put foil on it, but I bought these bought little this rings. You bought this fancy little pie, ring. It's called a pie crust shield. Okay. And I put that on there. And then from there, you're ready to go on. But an hour ago, we put this on the grill. That looks great. Now, how long do you, well, and A, how long do you cook it, and how do you control the temperature? Okay, on a good grill, I like the Weber grills is what I use, but on the, on a grill, any of your better grills, they're going to have a thermometer gauge on the front of it. Okay. These pies cook at 425 degrees for 55 minutes. That's what I do at home in the oven. If I do the Weber grill, I preheat the grill for 425 degrees, and you could set... When you make a pie, you have to do what they call indirect heat. So your grills have areas that the heat is directly underneath. Indirect, there's no heat directly underneath this pie. 
the heat is coming up around it. So I see. indirect heat, the pie's in the middle, and there you go. It looks cannot wait to get a slice of this. And Ron, I promise you that I am going to bring you a slice as well. <laughs> oh my gosh, look how perfect that looks. Okay, well, we will be right back with just one more check of our holiday forecast, plus a preview of what's on tomorrow's show. And I'll bring pie with